All right, I want to get into this. This is one of the difficulties I run into uh, when I make thermom thermometers for certain climates. So you see the snow in the background through the window there. This is a photo from my friends, the Tootlofts up in Minnesota. We go ice fishing near their place. And I br brought them this, therm I made this thermometer and brought it for them. It's the same one I had in the ice hut when I was out ice fishing. You know, just you got to travel with thermometers to see, you know, what the conditions are. The range of it is minus 40 to 120. Okay, no big deal, but I have to get Get that kind of a range within a six inch tube of glass. I have six inches to work with in this case, and I have to meet that big range because that covers all the possibilities and then some in that area, in that part of northern Minnesota. This comes down to getting the bulb the exact perfect size to meet that range within a six inch thermometer. My success rate with these thermometers, only about 50%. As I make them, fill them up, start calibrating, realize, mm, nope, this one won't go cold enough. It bottoms out at the, in the bulb. Mm, this one won't go warm enough to cover it all. So that's just one of the challenges that I run into when I uh, try to make these for different climates. I'm grateful for Texas, because I just have to make them from zero to 110, and I'm covered, and that makes it a lot easier. Okay, come back out here. Let's get a look at our our thermometer winner for this week, Bev, Bev Hurston of San Antonio. Congratulations. Go to ksat.com slash thermometer to enter the drawing. And that's for this lovely Texas shaped thermometer. How many thermometers do you travel with? I'm just curious. Uh, sometimes several. It depends like the ornament size ones. Sometimes I do usually I wrap them up in bubble wrap and yeah. do they have their own case? They should, but I get stopped at TSA quite I know, often. that's what, what I was going to say, yeah. And they're right. like, mercury in there? I'm like, yeah. no, it's rubbing alcohol. Does yeah. that happen to you when you travel with your thermometers? Yeah, well, yeah. you know, I, that's why I stopped traveling with my <laughs> thermometers, because of the whole TSA happening. It's right. a thermoma problem. Yeah, I get that. The Thermometer Security Administration. <laughs> should be right back. <laughs> Thank you for watching KSAT. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with San Antonio's latest news and weather.